Hello, in this video, I'll talk about how to make a groove like this on a wood board. You can see the shape is only a simple square and we can use a V-bit to, to do this work. First, let's see how we do this in ArtCam. So in ArtCam, We draw a rectangle. You can give it the size you want. Here I just uh, show the theory, so I pass this progress. Offset, inner, make it 10, and sharp. Offset, OK. Select them both, put them into the center of the page and then go to the project to pass and uh, create vbit carving to path um, I select a tool to this one the vbit 90 degree select and uh, Refresh. See the maximum depth is about uh, six, less than six. And make sure the step down is bigger than the depth, so the two will go only one pass. And then set the material, make it twenty. Okay, calculate now. And here we see the two path is made and uh, here is something rounded I don't know the reason why it's just the style of art cam and if we simulated the true path we will see more clearly what we will get exactly you can see it uh, get the work down almost as I said just now, only this part is not a sharp corner. This corner is rounded. Mm, seems this work cannot be down 100% by ArtCam. So here I show you another way how to do this. Because it's only the straight lines, we can use the G code file directly. Okay, so first I show you how to draw this out. Here I used uh, an X. You may use other CD software which you are familiar with. I just uh, create a new model. I choose the rectangle to the origin point and uh, drag my mouth on the keyboard I input the value I want it to be 200 table 200 enter and uh, left click so I get this square and uh, I press ESC to back to the select mode. I select this and uh, go to the curve and offset curve and make it 5 and uh, the blue one is the new one okay we get this and uh, select them both and then go to home extrude 18 okay and then we use the uh, chamfer 5 
Okay. So we get this. Actually, this is what we want. We need the uh, inner shape. As long as we can get this out, we can get the whole work done. Okay, now I do export and uh, IGES put it to the desktop. Okay, okay, continue. And then in Power ship. I drag this into power ship. Okay, so I get this. So first, I create a work plane coordinate. Single. I put it at the top surface of the of it. <coughs> okay. So now I need to get the coordinates of this point, this point, and uh, this point, this point. And this point, this point, this point, and this point. Okay, so get back to Artcam, and I save the two paths. And I choose the post processor. Model master 3x is flat, and the extent name is MMG. And I save it on desktop. Save. Okay. Is this one? I open it with the Notepad plus plus. Okay, this post processor is super simple. There's no useless code at all. Okay, so here shows the safe moving. They hate. I can make it 10. And uh, here means the spindle go on. And then the coordinates will do as this. And then back to the safe moving they hate. And then spindle off. Very simple. I think first we should. Uh, from this point, of course, it's the origin point, so it's uh, zero, zero, zero point. Zero, zero, and zero. In power shape, use this, so it will show me the in time coordinates as my cursor moves you can see here the three x y and z when i move it here is the zero 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 the origin point and here it is uh, five five and minus five so i write it down here five five and minus five the f code means the fade rate we can just use the default one, it doesn't matter. Or you can make it a bit slow if your workpiece is very hard. Okay, the second point is down. And then we want the cutting tool to move straight in this direction until this point. It's uh, 195. What not five? The Y is five. 
and z is minus 5 and the feed rate is this we can make it faster okay and the next point we will move to here so it's 200 Zero zero two hundred zero zero and give it a lower feed rate and then it will go back down to this again Control C to copy and Control V to paste and then go to this point this point So it's one night five. What night five and uh, minus five. Okay. And then to this point two hundred. Two hundred and uh, two hundred and then to the zero in this line we can make it uh, faster feed rates and this we make it same as this okay and uh, then we go back to this Then we go to this point five one nine five and the minus five faster speed and then go to this point zero two hundred and zero and then we go back to this and then we go back to this point five five minus five And then we go to this. Okay, we save it. We can do the simulate. We can see the lines are just very simple.
Will you set the workpiece size? And we use a uh, A tool like this. Diameter. Make it 20. Angle is 90 degree. Okay. We use this. Okay. So here comes the simulation. How it will go. Okay. I use arrow buttons on keyboard so you can see on each line how the machine will move. Machine is on. Move into material. And then go to this point, move up, go back, next corner, go up and back, next corner, up, back, back to the first corner and go up and uh, to lift up. I'll do the simulation again to show you. Okay, we can also use another one. It's called the uh, Chemotics. It's a free software. You can download it from internet. Okay, we can just uh, open and uh, all files and uh, choose this one. Open metric. Okay, can see the simulation is already down. You can see the corner are all sharp. See, corner is sharp. Simulate. Okay, just the simple. So finally, we get this shape cut perfectly. If you have better method of doing this work, please share with us. Thank you. And thank you for watching my video. Bye.